Uh, so some of the areas where we're growing um, are traditionally we've been, been strong in display media. So like when you go to CNN.com, you see the ads load on the, the typical display. Uh, but some of the areas of growth are uh, social media. So we've got Facebook and Twitter. We just got some press in Ad Week last week for being the first uh, player in our category to integrate directly with Facebook. Uh, as we all know, Facebook is just uh, seeing incredible growth and in something like one in five impressions on the internet are on Facebook. So, so we want to be there for that. Um, one of the other competitors that I show on the slide is Invite Media acquired by Google. So um, they may have a harder time integrating there with Facebook. So we feel like that's a great opportunity for us. Um, another area is mobile. Mobile is growing at around a 20% uh, uh, annual growth rate uh, advertising on mobile. Video is another area of very strong growth where we're just seeing the beginning of being able to optimize advertising around video. And then the fourth category there is premium advertising. So traditionally, we've been focused on uh, advertising that is not the first run sold by the sales force uh, over lunch and faxes uh, with the front page on wallstreetjournal.com. But increasingly, we're getting into that uh, because increasingly advertisers, they want to get all their advertising sold through one channel where they can see the results and they can optimize and, re and, and report on that. So uh, we're seeing a lot of growth in that area, too. Um, I touched on this a little bit already, but it's really around um, our, we, we've invested quite a bit in our, our sales force. Uh, we, we, I'll, I'll show you in a minute our, our, our sales offices, but we've been, uh, our direct sales has been growing quite a bit, and then also through our partners. Uh, from the sales office point of view, the, red, the small red dots here are our existing offices, so New York, Boston, Chicago, LA, San Francisco, and London. We opened a London office last year. It, it's a great case study. We sent two of our founders. Uh, to London to open the office, and it's just been going phenomenally well. We have two data centers in Europe, and one in Paris, one in Zurich, and we expect to expand uh, across uh, other markets uh, this year in Q4. Uh, actually, next month, we're opening a data center in Hong Kong, uh, so we expect to see quite a bit of growth in Asia. We haven't even touched the Chinese market, um, so uh, we, we see lots of growth to come in those new markets. Um, in addition, we'll do some uh, acquisitions uh, we, we made one acquisition last year of a company that's had a great feature for optimizing the actual imagery in a display ad, and it's, it's been great. So one of the great things about the position we're, that we're in is we see the different capabilities we enable uh, buying across lots of different types of companies and uh, new technologies and capabilities. When we see one that's working, we're in a great position to say, hey, that, you know, this is really working, and we can see what margin they're getting. So we want to pull that margin onto our platform so we have an opportunity to make acquisitions. So some of these will be tuck-in acquisitions around features, uh, but could also be acquisitions uh, that are more uh, vertical integration or on the stack where we see opportunities to really bring margin onto our platform. Uh, we are actually raising a, a round of capital. We expect uh, this to be a, more, uh, a Q1 close for additional capital. Some of that will be for expanding the sales offices, some will be building out the technology, and some will be for these kinds of acquisitions. So you can, you, you can take a look at sort of that work experiences, which probably is not that, not that exciting, other than we have a great technology, we have, our conversion rate is unbelievable. Um, we, we, when someone comes through our flow versus even our advertisers flow, we convert twice as many as they do, because our user experience is incredible. We give the customers what they want, when they want it, and they convert on the, uh, on the platform. Um, just a couple of examples. We have 300-something websites, as I alluded to earlier, plus uh, both in the online and in mobile. Here's just a few examples of, of, of the different websites that we operate. All underlying is one single platform. We have about two people who, from a content management standpoint, manage all of those, all of those websites, and we drive customers, depending on what they're looking for in the digital world, through one of them. And the, the reason why we have so many is people are looking for different things. And we get them, we want to put the right, right offers in front of them. So platform drives all the different websites and mobile websites. But here's just a way to visualize, uh, visualize what we're doing from a web and mobile standpoint. Second part of it was the enterprise, which is the, which is the new area of growth, one of the new areas of growth for us this year. We have three products, Amp Assist, Amp Store, and Amp Connect. And again, we'll do three million or so in revenue in this, this year, nine million contracted for next year already. Um, I won't go into the, the gory details. I'll give you a couple of quick examples. Uh, Time Warner Cable came to us, and they license our technology for all of their Spanish buy flow. So anybody who comes to the Time Warner website and wants to buy something in Spanish, 
they lease our technology, they give us a fee per month and a transaction fee, and that's all on ours. And they're ecstatic, because they tried it on their own, and again, our conversion rate was three times as much as, their, as theirs was. 